What's going on, all you 31 Days of Horror fans out there? We are back for another ghoulish treat for you tonight. We are reviewing an all-new horror movie tonight, one that came out this year. It's directed by M. Night Shyamalan's daughter, Ashana Shyamalan. It stars Dakota Fanning, and it's called The Watchers. Please open the door. John? My husband's outside. This is a trick. Oh my God. That's Woo. right, Dakota Fanning. Return. I haven't seen her in a movie in some time. Of course, she was a child actress. But uh, returning as an adult here, starring alongside Georgina Campbell, that was from uh, Barbarian, great horror flick that came out last year, up-and-coming actress, takes place in Ireland, which is really a cool backdrop and setting for, of course, a horror movie. Dakota Fanning plays Mina. She works at a pet store, and she has to take this exotic bird to, like, Belfast. She goes on this road trip, gets stuck in these really creepy woods, of course, has no cell service, her car dies, and she then wanders off into the woods. It's all about this mystical woods here in Ireland. Where is she? You know, she's just in some random woods and she finds out that she can't leave. Every time she tries to leave, it seems like she's stuck there. Uh, and then some crazy old lady sees her out in the woods, starts screaming, hollering, telling her to get in, get into this compound that's in the middle of the woods. It's got a big, huge window in the front like it's shown behind you there you know we don't know what's going on we just you know but she figures out something something's probably out there that's going to come get her and convinces her to go into this place and you know she realizes that there's several other people uh, that are in this compound too and they notice that there's basically a, a two-way mirror there and we have to try to figure out what's going on here. Who are the watchers? And that's really the mystery at the center of this film. Of course, it deals like a lot of movies that we've seen this year, a lot of horrors in general, too. You know, trauma is involved of the character, you know, the Dakota Fanning's character. Her mom had passed away. She's still dealing with issues from that. It's still affecting her. So, you know. There's a lot of trauma from each of the characters that we meet in this compound, too. So you're kind of wondering if this is going to be psychological or if they're really creatures out there that are the watchers. Yeah, there's a lot of suspense in this movie. I will say that, you know, watching this throughout the first and the second act, you're trying to understand what what's going on, what what's, you know, watching them, essentially. And they're stuck in this, you know, concrete building at night with a one-way window. So they can't see the creatures out there, but the creatures are watching them. They insist on watching the humans. And there's, like, rules they have to follow. And on, at night, they can't go out. When it's daylight, then they can go out in the woods and stuff, and the creatures are hiding away to, like, underground. But they can't get out of this woods, so it just keeps going back and back, and they just get stuck there and trying to figure out a way, you know, how to finally get out of this place. Is sort of like Bermuda Triangle in Western Ireland. Yeah, that's what it felt like. And Dakota Fanning's character, Mina, she wants to figure out what's going on. She isn't like the rest of them that are just like scared and just want to stay in there. She wants answers right away. So she's willing to venture out. And eventually they find this hole in the ground. And, you know, she ends up going down there in this unbelievable scene where one of the other guys that she's with has this super long rope and is able to like, you know, she's able to go all the way to the spot on this like 50 foot drop into there. And yeah, of course I just had a, a long rope lying around somewhere, we guess, but anyways, but so they, so she finally makes it down there and she sees all these things. She sees like a bicycle and some other human artifacts down there. But then she comes across a creature and we figure out that there are real creatures actually watching them. We don't know what they are yet, but they do chase her all the way back to the compound. And that's kind of where the, the story goes from there. And you figure out more about the watchers. That's about all we can say here. We don't want to spoil anything. Um, but, you know, an interesting film, one that was written off and wasn't watched by you know, nearly anybody opening weekend or its whole theatrical run. It was kind of forgotten about really quickly. And, you know, after watching it, 
I can say that it's not a terrible movie by any chance, but I can see why it just, it didn't really have a lot going for it. You know, it had the, the same kind of uh, signature uh, things that the Shyamalans are known for at this point, this being Ashana M. Knight's daughter, who also directed an episode or a couple episodes of Servant under her dad's watchful eye. So she's taken over and she's, you know, done some writing and now she's getting into directing. And I can see why this story and this movie would appeal to them because it has that same sort of dark sensibility to it dealing with the dark aspects of the human psyche and then also dealing with these mysterious creatures out there. So it did have some likable qualities, but overall, you know, just for me, I thought it was pretty forgettable. Dakota Fanning was great, but uh, you know, the, just the writing, you know, is just kind of all over the place. And after all was said and done, you know, I was like, okay, that was fine. I guess it wasn't, it wasn't terrible. But uh, I definitely see why it didn't do well at the theaters. And it wasn't marketed very well either. Yeah, I think uh, it had a lot of momentum, the first two acts, and it fell apart at the end, which is normal. Like yeah. you're saying, Shyamalan's. Yeah, I think the the, the more of the reveal of the, the creatures kind of ruined it for me, too. If you didn't see it or really know what it was, I thought it would have been a hell of a lot better film, just never knowing. But they kind of reveal that and just what happens after that of getting out of the woods and stuff kind of fell apart for me. But it really had my interest in the first two acts. I went in with super low expectations and saw critics tearing this one apart. I don't think it was that bad, like awful or anything, but it yeah, it was, you know, watchable one time around. I don't think this is a movie I'd revisit or anything like that anytime soon, but definitely watchable. I liked the backdrop of Ireland. I thought it was cool and it had some unique aspects to it. Of course, Dakota Fanny, Georgina Campbell, I liked them a lot. Actress that played Madeline, I thought she was good. She pops up in a bunch of horror stuff. And uh, Oliver Finnegan playing Daniel. I thought it was pretty good. But overall, decent watch. Really enjoyed the first part of the movie. Falls apart at the end. Good performances here. Some spooky elements to it. A few jump scares. Uniqueness to it. So with that being said, I'm going to give the watchers... I'm going to give it a three out of five. Dakota Fanning hair pieces. Yeah, I could see some talent here from Ashana Shyamalan. I think she's going to go on to do some really interesting things here. This being her first film, well done. You know, it falls apart at the end. But yeah, like you said, the first part is very interesting. I, I was in, I was surprised how much I was into it for the first, you know, 30, 45 minutes of it. And then it just gets ridiculous. Um, but, uh, you know, not terrible by any means. Could have been marketed better and probably dropped more towards this time of year than where it was it was kind of just dumped in a weekend where nobody was watching movies it wasn't summer blockbuster or anything it was a bad weekend to open and yeah it just a lot of things going against it uh so with that being said i'm going to give the watchers i'm going to give it a two and a half out of five ashana Shyamalan hair pieces Ooh, even lower than me damn you yeah. didn't like this one <laughs> Me and Molly enjoyed it. They're like, it's pretty good. Not bad. I, I remember texting you and I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. After that. that yeah. If it, if it could have had a better ending, it definitely would have went up two or three for me too. Yeah. Not definitely not terrible or anything, but yeah, just fell apart towards the end. I want to hear from all you wild ghouls out there. What did you like about the watchers? What didn't you like about it? What's your favorite horror flick of the year thus far? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to stand. Subscribe. Also, check out these wild vampires on Facebook, X, and Instagram, and our website, cinefellows.com, for latest, greatest TV, movie, news, and reviews. That's right. We are reviewing everything you can think of. TV shows, movies. We have some new movies coming out in October. We're getting excited for here. Terrifier 3. You know, it's up there. We got another Smile 2 trailer dropping recently. So we are partying out here. We're trying to figure out what we're going to dress up for Halloween as. Uncle Logan here is known for his outlandish and awesome Halloween costumes throughout the years here. Although it's probably been a good 20 since you've actually dressed up. But no, uh, yeah, it's been it's, that long. It's been like. No, not that long. Yeah. But you've had some epic, uh, epic costumes along the years, my friend, for sure. <laughs> Steven Adler, uh, oh. Prince. I mean, the list goes on and on. Oh, yes. Always known for that. So always interesting. Well, these wild boys here love Halloween and spooky season. Thank you guys so much for watching all our videos. Make sure to comment and uh, 
let, let us know what you guys thought of the watchers and we'll be back very soon with an all new 31 days of horror video. So until then, that's my good mate over there. DC DeVille. Brett Michaels. And until the next poison album. Cheers. How's it all?